Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another Echoes of Mana video, and today I'm doing a follow-up video about the energy system in this game, based off of a lot of comments I got on my uh, YouTube video that addressed the way the devs are addressing this issue. There's a lot of addresses in that last statement, but I got a lot of comments, a lot of feedbacks in Discord, Reddit, seen them on Twitter. We need to talk about the energy system in this game because, in my opinion, this is a fantastic game and the energy system is like just putting the brakes on the enjoyment for me and a lot of other people. So I'm going to highlight for you exactly what is wrong with this system and I'm going to tell you exactly what I would do to fix it or at least um, exactly the direction I would head to fix this system. Now, first things first, I just leveled up. And to do that, I actually did the thing that I didn't want to do. I spent gems to finish off my rank 20. And you can see I'm right now just rank 21. I just hit it. It will take me 1,169 experience to get from rank 21 to rank 22, which means it's probably like 1,200 actual experience, but I over leveled when I leveled from 20 to 21. You get it. So that means not only are my energy bars full, but you gain the 120 um, of both energies plus whatever you had left so I'm actually a little bit over full okay for the first thing I'm gonna do in this video I'm gonna go spend all of this energy I'm gonna run yellow missions I'm gonna run blue missions and we're gonna see just how far this gets me and we're back Orin J from 15 minutes in the future coming back to you and I have burned through all of that energy I farmed very hard chapter 1 stage 10 for all the goodies that that drops and I farmed Zephyr Altar Vigil hard number 2 and I farmed that one on manual so I had it, it's fun like I got to play Reese I got to play Angela I got to have fun for 15 minutes you know blowing up some mobs but now I'm out of energy I'm out of energy so what did I get for that? Well, I got a lot of leveling materials. I'll be able to increase Reese's uh, Echo's, uh, her mana board a little bit. And I got some good drops and some experience. I also made it from about 1,200 experience to level 22 down to 785 experience. So I gained about 400 or so account experience. And remember, account experience is a big deal because in those really early account levels, you don't really have energy problems because you just keep raking up your account that previously used to increase your maximum amount of energy it also refills it and so i think a lot of people who were saying that the energy system isn't a big deal till later uh maybe they're still like rank eight and still getting all of that free refreshes it's way gone by the time you hit 20. so okay i would need 785 more to level up again i'm also out of energy right or out so much that i can't farm stages that are relevant to me anymore we're looking at about nine hours to go from 11 to 120, or eight and a half hours in the case of the blue energy. It's a long time. We're talking about going to bed for a whole night for that to restore, unless I used things to fill it up. So, okay, let's look at using things. Mm, what about AP? I'll use some of my AP potions. Oh, right, I don't have any. I'll use some of my SP potions. Oh, right, I don't have any of those either. I'll go get some, oh. No, I'm not going to go get some because there's literally nowhere to go get them. So my only other option is to use spirit crystals. Now, I did this previously to get to the point where I could start filming this video. The last time I used spirit crystals, it was 30 to recover. I'm going to click use again. This will give me 60 yellow only stamina, right? 60 yellow energy. And then next time, let's say I wanted to do it again. Now it's 100. 100. I'm gonna, you know what? For the sake of this video, sure, another 100. Let's go. So I just spent 150. Uh, I can't check what it is now because I've, I've spent it. So, okay, let me go spend that AP real quick and I'll be right back. And we're back. So, okay, yellow energy spent, 150 crystals worth of energy. What did I get? Well, I got to needing 625 experience to rank up now, which means I would need to spend, like, what, 10 plus more purchases with my crystals because I just did two purchases, and I got from 785 needed to level down to 625. So I would need to purchase a lot more energy with my crystals to push that rank 22, at which point I would need to start this whole process over again. And one of the big problems there is, as I'm pushing through new content in the game, which is something I would like to do, I want to be earning crystals, because pulling on the gacha is like a core part of these gacha games. I want those crystals to be building up, or I want to be spinning them for duplicates of Reese, something like that. So I hate the fact that I would have to spin. And look, 
it keeps going up. It's now 150. If I was going to do another spirit crystal recovery, it probably, you know what? You know what? Here you go, guys. Let's just see. Does it go up again? I'll wail for this. Let's see. Does it go up? It's now 200. I'm too scared to click it again. I'm not willing to spend 200 crystals for 60 energy. 200 crystals for like what? Two runs? Maybe less than two runs on certain rooms in this game? That's ridiculous. That's too much. The system was not designed to be good once you get point po past point like rank 15. And I hope that this has highlighted that for the people watching this video. Like, I, I don't know how I can make it more clear than that. If there was a way I could go get more potions, that would change things. And one comment that I've seen is like, yeah, you could just buy crystals. So why do you need the option to go buy potions with your money when you already have the option to go buy crystals? Look, if that's what you think, like, let me explain how this works to you. When you're playing a game like this and pushing new content, right? Like maybe I wanted to go clear tower. Maybe I want to go do very hard chapter three. You, the, one of the points is you earn crystals for doing that. So buying energy out allows you to accumulate crystals. If you have to buy crystals to gain energy to go gain crystals and you're actually losing out on crystals in a big way in that exchange, that is not the same thing as being able to buy energy potions. And honestly, I wouldn't even do all of the purchases I just did for energy if I was not making this video. What, that was 350 crystals I just dropped? Ouch, you earn 70 crystals for S clearing a mission. You know, for achieving all the missions, you earn 70. That's th like, whoa, I just did like four plus, you know, wait, 741. I did over four full fresh clears just to get like a couple more runs of farming in, that's not good. So what, what do I suggest here? Like what can we do to make this better? I do think number one, it is important to add a way to acquire energy potions in this game. There's just not one right now. And I would like there to be one. Is the cash shop the option? I don't know, I've heard some people in the last video talk about how they didn't think that was a good option. For me personally, I think it's very valuable to be able to sit down for at least like an hour or two and enjoy a video game. For the people out there that are saying, look, this is on purpose, it prevents you from running the whole game in three days, um, and then you'd be done and it'd you'd be bored and everybody would quit. Look, I think your mind's in the right place. If that's what you think, I do think you understand why energy systems are in games. And you're not wrong. The problem, the problem is there is a difference between having unlimited energy where you can go finish a whole game in three days and a system like this that limits you to playing the game for literally 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah, maybe there's some like inventory management I could do. Maybe I could work on like, you know, crafting some gear or something like that. But I need materials to do gear crafting. I need materials to work on my characters. I need energy to level them up so I can work on ascending them. The whole game runs on an energy system that per, like 15 minutes. I'm telling you, I thought it was 20 and I burn it all in 15. Getting stuff that I needed, by the way. I didn't just burn it in the most quick way to burn it possible. I earned materials I needed for my account. So I want to stress again, I really, really like this game. And in fact, I have more invested as a content creator who's covering this game in its, in its, whoa, in its success than your average player of the game. So it behooves me that the game is successful. That is why I'm making this video. It's to point out the fact that like, just changing the cap of how many times I can refresh the energy pool every day is not enough to address the problem. We need ways to recover energy besides just ranking up your account because once you get into those high teens or low 20s, that is not a viable way of being able to play the game. So do I want to be able to play the game all day and just run it to the end? No, I don't. But I think it's healthy to be able to sit down and play a video game for an hour or two. And I would personally be very willing to drop three bucks, four bucks, whatever. Give me three large energy pots or something like that to allow me to extend my play period from 15 minutes to two hours or something like that. And I think that's a good, I think it would make the game feel a lot better. Okay, what's another thing we could do to solve this energy problem? Well, co-op could be addressed. And I know co-op is buggy right now. Like, that's not what this video is about. Save those comments for a different video. What I mean is, right now, in the co-op room, 
it costs energy not just for the person hosting the room, but for the people joining the room. There is not much of a benefit in playing co-op if you can clear something yourself. That is not good for, like, the general health of co-op, and an easy way to solve that would be have the person hosting the room spend energy, have the people joining the room join for free. It would dramatically increase the amount of people playing in co-op, and it would help address the energy issue. It would let people keep playing the game. There's a lot of positive momentum for Echoes of Mana right now, and by far the biggest detractor that I've seen has been this energy system. Let's get this thing solved, let's get it fixed, and let's have a, like, great time playing the game. Because, I want again, I like this game a lot. I'm really enjoying myself, and I hope it's successful for a long time. Okay, let me know what you think about that, guys, in the uh, comments section. I just wanted to give you that exact, you know, for people who aren't ranked 20 yet, for people who aren't ranked 18 or 19 yet, that's what people are talking about. That's what we mean. All right. Have a good night, everybody. I'll catch you next time. Peace.